guys, how you doing? JP Sarricoli here. One of the highlights for me at SciShowCon uh, was Iron Studios, particularly the X-Men diorama, the whole diorama that was showcased there. It was fantastic. It's, it's great. It's amazing. It really also brings problems and challenges. Uh, if you want to display the whole thing, you're going to need a lot of real estate in your collection room. But that's uh, a story for a different day. Uh, but one of the, the pieces that really um, a lot of people are crazy about is the cable. Uh, the cable statue actually was showcased in Dio Comic Con last year. Uh, and it was an special and exclusive for uh, a, a Comic Con experience in Brazil too. Uh, but now it's available in North America through SciShow and it's going to be released next month according to SciShow's website. So in this video, I wanna break down the information the good and the bad, what I like about this piece, what I don't like about it, and ultimately let you know if I think you should get this or not. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm here at SciShow, and I will have the link in the description for those who are interested. And here you can see the cable of Iron Studios. This is not available at the Iron Studios website. It's only through SciShow because it's a SciShow exclusive. And as you can see, it's $190, which in my opinion, it's a very good price for this statue. It is very fair. Some people might point out that, you know, some are have been cheaper in the past, but this is, has a very nice scale, very nice size, uh, very nice piece. And you can also choose the layaway plan. Uh, so you can pay, I think, up to three payments, which is nice. You pay a deposit and then you separate this into different payments. Um, and as you can see right there, and you can choose actually the date. The deposit is $19 if you want to go through that route and you can, you know, pay the, the, the remainder balance and then, of course, the shipping afterwards. Uh, so it's on pre-order. According to this, arrives on August. So pretty much is now is ready to go. Now, if you read the uh, description, it says about the statue, Saishu and Iron Studios present the latest from the art scale 110 line, the cable statue. Based on references from Marvel Comics, this polystone statue is hand-painted and an event exclusive. Now, this is the same thing that happened with the Doomsday. I talked about it yesterday. Um, this is not necessarily a SciShow exclusive. Um, it was an event exclusive for uh, CCXP, um, Comic-Con Experience in Brazil, and now it's uh, pretty much for SciShow Con. So technically, this is a reissue of the same piece. And um, uh, now we look at the uh, details and dimensions. Of course, we know it's polystone. The height is 11.4 inches. Uh, the width is 6.7 inches, which is very fair for the for the scale. And the depth is 7 inches, and uh, which is good. Now let's look at the pictures. So I'm going in, and I really love this. Uh, you know, if you have followed this, ch this channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Cable. I have talked about Cable, whether it's in comics, uh, statues, I've reviewed statues for Cable. I'm a big fan of this character. Now, this has, what I like about this is kind of like a throwback uh, with all his outfit. It's more like in the 90s style, although he's not 100% uh out the 90s you know he's not 100 percent rough life all but um i really like the the design the weapons even the canister right there with that you know pretty much smoke grenade right there it's pretty cool they did it with clear resin very nice and again you know this was uh pretty much released last year so i, I there's a, a few reviews on up here on youtube you can find them uh, with a lot of Brazilian uh, collectors, they, they were talking about it. So if you don't speak Portuguese, I think Gen Min Collectibles also review this. I think it's the only one that I know in, that is, you know, pretty much in English, that review of this piece. I think he brought it. Um, he had to get it from a collector in Brazil. Uh, but definitely, it's a nice piece. And I'm glad that now it's available for all of us. But as you can see, love the detail, love the base. It's simple. He has the bended knee. He's huge. He's massive. Those arms, you can see the arm. Very cool. Love the detail. Have the tiny little small head, which in my opinion is really kind of a throwback to the Lifel era when he has this huge body but a very small uh, head, you know, and that's fine. But love the pouches. Love the style. You know, we have seen so many great statues for Cable over the years. Of course, SciShow produced the most recent one. It's an amazing piece. But XM did a fantastic job on that. I've seen so many great customs. Uh, you, you see on the Bowen side, Bowen did a lot of fantastic ones. Uh, the Kucharik brothers did terrific with that. Uh, even Kotobukiya had one that is not my favorite, but it's good there too with a more modern version of the Cable. 
Uh, Diamond Select recently did one that is amazing as well. And there's mini bus, the mini bus also from Bowen. Uh, there's a bus around mini bus uh, from Gentle Giant that also looks amazing with the modern look. Uh, it's just uh, the late, I was a 90s look, but definitely it's, you know, he's such a character that no matter what, what scale you put on, he looks amazing. Even the action figures look amazing. Look at that. Look, I love, love the vase, love the X in his boot right there on, on the soles of his boots. And the canister, love that. That's very nice. He's ready for war for sure. Great detail. Love the base. Love the moss between all the, the stones. Very good. There's detail on that piece, as you can see. Love that. Uh, you know, the only concern would be the fact that I mentioned this on the Doomsday. Things have been reissued, you know, and I know a lot of times people don't like that. It's not a good thing always. Um, you know, you have to be very forthcoming from the get-go. You have to be honest about it, you know. And that's one one of the, my concerns with this whole line, with the X-Men line, that um, with from Iron Studios is the fact that they are on numbers. So you don't know how many are produced, and you don't know if they're going to be reissued because at the end of the day, they're not really telling you exactly that. And you have to be extremely careful not to fall prey onto into that greed where you kind of reproducing the same thing over and over until actually there's nothing exclusive anymore. Uh, so that's the only concern. But uh, beyond that, I feel that this is a nice piece. Um, I love the price. I think it's fair. Um, I will prefer something cheaper like everyone else. But in my opinion, I feel that it's good. As you can see, it weighs one kilogram, which is 2.2 pounds, which is hefty. Uh, I, I like it. I think if you are not going to be able to get the whole X-Men display, of course, that's super massive. I think this one can be the ticket. I do believe that if you only can pick a few of that, of the whole collection, I will go for this one. I will go for Bishop. I will go for Sabretooth. I think those are really nice. And I will go for Pyro. Some characters, not all the characters, but I do believe that this is perhaps one of the best that they have. It's not coming. This is not showing in any of the, the dioramas. So you have to buy it separately. So I do believe that this is probably right now the only chance or the only opportunity to get it. So in my opinion, do it. Well, guys, there you have it. This is definitely a must-have if you are collecting this particular line. And if you're if, even if you're not a collector of this line, if you don't have the space for the entire set, uh, if you're only picking a few of them, I think this is definitely one that you should have. I love the detail, love the style. We have seen it before, has been reviewed before by some collectors, particularly Brazilian collectors, and some people that have been able to get some of them and bring him to the States or other parts of the world. And uh, they, you know, it's a fantastic, I think Iron Studios has done a fantastic job with it. So it is available. I think it's a great price. And uh, it is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, statues in the whole, whole uh, X-Men versus Diorama collection. But what is your opinion? What do you think? Do you like it? You don't like it? Are you going to pass? You're not happy that they just uh, reissue in this? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.